Hi, this is John, and today I've got an unusual video for you. I'm going to tell you how this railroad coupler works. But before I do that, I'm going to give you a little background on how I came across this coupler. Back in the spring, I was walking on the bike trail here in Edwardsville, Illinois, and just off to the side of the trail, I could see this thing. And so my daughter and I went back with a stick and started digging it out and it turned out to be a coupler. So we got a two-wheel dolly and we carried it along the trail in this dolly all the way back to the house. Boy, that was heavy. And once we got it back, we figured out that this is actually a Type F railroad coupler. I used electrolysis to try to get the rust out of some of the joints so that I could get the parts inside the coupler to move. So I used a baking soda and a battery charger connected to a negative side to the coupler, a positive side to the electrode there that I had um, with the battery charger supplying the current and uh, was able to start to generate some bubbles and after about 48 hours it looks like you see here. The electrolysis worked pretty well to get some of the rust off, but there was still quite a bit of chipping away and hammering that had to get done to get the pieces out of the coupler uh, after this electrolysis process. So it was, a, it was a key part of it, but there was quite a bit of uh, pounding uh, that had to happen afterwards to get the thing apart. Just the coupler all put back together after the parts were out. I put some grease on there, but I was going to show you why was it in the woods in the first place, and that's because clearly this part is broken off. This uh, this should have looped around here like this, and that's really what holds it. So this is a problem in terms of why it wasn't in use. And then over here, you'll also see that, uh, see this casting is cracked right here. So there was another tongue sticking out here on the top that has cracked off. Uh, so we don't know where that is, but but this is most likely why this was abandoned uh, along the railroad tracks there, uh, which is now a bike trail. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how the coupler works. Again, this is a type F coupler. And right now this is, the, kn the knuckle here is closed and locked. So the, the two cars are coupled together. You have to picture another one of these around the other way and these two couple like this. So there's a rotor down here which is connected to the decoupler bar, the decoupler lever, and so the person decoupling the train can stand out, not between the two cars, kind of off the tracks, and allow this to happen. So I'm just going to rotate this and you can see what happens. So there, you can see a couple things happened. The lock came up and then there's a knuckle thrower in there that opens this knuckle and now it's ready to be coupled. Now when the train comes to couple and the knuckle is open like this, I'll show you what happens. So you can see the lock comes, falls down just through gravity and now the train is coupled together. Okay, so now I want to show you what are the parts that are actually inside the coupler here. So I'm going to take it apart for you. So the first thing we have a knuckle unlocked and here's the pin so you see that comes out like that and then we're going to take the knuckle this is out this is pretty heavy there you go so that's what the knuckle looks like so now you can see the lock in here we also have the rotor back here so what i can do is use the rotor to lift that up That gives you an idea of how the, the lock will stay up in there. And here you can see the knuckle thrower. There's the lock that just came back down. So to get the lock out, you kind of pull it forward. And then you can pull this out. So this is the lock. You can see there's a big mass there. That mass helps gravity just bring that down and lock when the knuckle is all the way in. Then from here, we got this knuckle thrower right here. 
and we can take that out. Like that. So this is the knuckle thrower and it just pivots like this and it pushes that knuckle out. So now from here, you can see we can pull this component out, which is the lock lifting assembly. And then this is that rotor. Now you see it's pretty straightforward once you've seen it. Uh, but this, this is the rotor that I was turning that operates the whole mechanism. So here you can see these are the components now that were inside the coupler. So here's how these parts are arranged inside the coupler. So this is the rotor. This is the lock lifting mechanism. And you see this pin here. That pin then engages this hole in the lock and so when it's inside there, you can see this is, this is how it works. So when you rotate that, it pushes the lift, the lock up, and then it can come back down as well. So that's how the overall mechanism works. The knuckle thrower sits back here. And so as this part comes over, then you can see that it would rotate the knuckle thrower out, which then pushes the knuckle open to get ready to make the next coupling. And that's it. That's the Type F coupler and the parts inside. Thanks for watching.